Hey guys, I just thought I'd give you a quick run through of the leaked um, Samsung 4.4.2 update for the Galaxy S4. Uh, this is my international i9505 Galaxy S4. Uh, I've just installed it, I've got some apps downloading. Straight away you can see not a great deal has changed, the lock screen still looks very similar. This is the default home screen. Um, the widgets look a little bit different. Um, everything seems to be the same as the 4.3 version, not much has changed. Same sort of responsiveness, it doesn't feel much quicker than 4.3, uh, time will tell. Um, the icons up the top have now changed, they're now white, like um, the standard Google um, Android. However, Samsung has put the um, data arrows back in their Wi-Fi. Um, Wi-Fi logo. I haven't looked at the um, the mobile data logo but I assume it'll be the same which is good. Uh, it annoyed me that that was missing for some reason from the other one from from the um, standard Google version. Um, this all looks the same as 4.3 the same um, same icons there's no extra features as far as I can tell in on that side of things. The launcher does have a new feature now where if there's an app on here that um, that you don't want anymore. You used to have to go into settings to disable it. You can now just drag that icon. There's a new option up the top here, disable app. You can just bang, disable it. Um, some of the settings screens do look a little bit different. Um, this connections, that's all basically the same. My device, this is all very much the same as 4.3. Uh, nothing new there. Accounts, again, very similar. Uh, under the more, the location now has the 4.4 uh, location mode settings, power saving and high accuracy in GPS, and 4.4's um, um, details of apps, how much battery usage they're using. It still has the Samsung My Places that has the home, office, and car settings. Um, but apart from that, that's, that's about it. You can see under about device 4.42. That's the new new build. And if we tap that, you get the KitKat Android logo. I'm not going to release. I'm not going to do a more in-depth video on this because that's about it. Um, there's no ART on this build. Only Delvic still. Uh, I assume, um, again, stability issues and stuff like that. Um, if I go into build, develop, enable the developer options. USB debugging, all that sort of stuff is still there. These all look very similar to the um, to 4.3. There doesn't seem to be anything, anything different in here. So yeah, um, you can download it. There's links on XDA developers. Um, check it out. But as I said, I haven't been running it for very long, but it doesn't seem much different from 4.3. Um, if anything changes, I'll let you know. Thanks.